Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 454. What are the local anesthetics that are esters? The local anesthetics that are esters includes procaine, cocaine, and tetracaine. What are the local anesthetics that are amides? The local anesthetics that are amides includes lidocaine, mepivacaine, and bupivacaine. What is the mnemonic to help you remember amides local anesthetics? The mnemonic to help you remember this is that amides have two eyes in them. So that's lidocaine, mepivacaine, and bupivacaine all have two eyes in them. What is the mechanism of action of local anesthetics? The mechanism of action is to block the sodium channels by binding to specific receptors on inner portion of channels. And the local anesthetics preferentially binds to activated sodium channels, so these drugs are more effective in rapid firing neurons. Describe the mechanism of action of tertiary amine local anesthetics. Tertiary amine local anesthetics penetrate membrane in uncharged form, and then it binds to ion channels as charged form. What drug is given along with local anesthetics to increase the effectiveness of the local anesthesia? Local anesthetics can be given with vasoconstrictors such as epinephrine to enhance their action and the reason for this is because of vasoconstrictors there would be decrease in bleeding and it also increases anesthesia effect by decreasing the systemic concentration. Describe why in infected or acidic tissue there is more anesthesia that's needed. In infected or acidic tissue there is more anesthesia that's required because alkaline anesthetics are charged and they cannot penetrate membrane effectively. So because of this, there is need for more anesthetic. Describe the order of nerve blockade with local anesthetics. The nerve blockade happens faster in small diameter fibers than in large diameter fibers and myelinated fibers than in unmyelinated fibers. But overall, the size factor predominates over myelination. So overall, the order of nerve blockade goes small myelinated fibers followed by small unmyelinated fibers followed by large myelinated fibers and then large unmyelinated fibers. What is the order of sensation loss with local anesthesia, naming them from the earliest sensation loss to the latest sensation loss? The first sensation loss with local anesthesia goes pain, followed by temperature, then it's touch, and finally pressure. What is the clinical use of local anesthesia? Local anesthesia is used in minor surgical procedures as well as final anesthesia. What local anesthesias are given if a patient is allergic to esters anesthesia? If a patient is allergic to esters local anesthetics, then you give them amides. What are the side effects and toxicities observed with local anesthetics? Local anesthetics can lead to CNS excitation, severe cardiovascular toxicity that happens with bupivacaine, hypertension can also occur along with hypotension, and arrhythmias, and arrhythmias can occur with cocaine use. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.